Hey everybody! So this video is just going to cover the basics of how to do the fur grooming, how to get the fur out of your eyes and off your tongue and nose and all that stuff. I'm not going to cover any advanced topics, but this is just an introduction. So let's begin! Okay, first thing you want to do to start grooming is inside the Fast Fur Shader folder there is this prefab called Fur Grooming. Drag into your scene, do what it says, drag into the scene, drop it right there, and if you hit play, what should happen is you should get this screen here. Now, if you don't get this screen, there's a number of things that can go wrong. Let me show you one of them. What is this? Well, if you see this screen, you need to go up here where it says display and change it to display number one. And now we have the screen, but it's the wrong size. Well, the wrong size is here. We want to uncheck low resolution aspect ratios and we want to put it on free aspect. And now it fills the whole screen area, but it's too big. To fix that, we want to go to this scale and we want to put it to one. Now, everything is now the correct size, but now we've got this warning message up here. What it's basically telling you is that the Rex is reusing its material in two different places. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we expand the material for the body, and we look here, it is using this file right here. But if I then click on the tail, and I click the same thing, it is also using that same texture. Now, why is this a problem? Well, it's not. You can use the same texture for two different materials, but any changes you make to one is going to save and affect the other as well, and that can cause confusion. So with the Rex, the solution I recommend is just turn off the tail. And the reason I recommend that is if you look at the tail, it's a very complicated piece of geometry. Even though I've tried to make the shader as fast as possible, adding a fur shader to a geometry like this is going to cause lag. So what I'm going to do is click on this tail mesh and just turn it off. And you'll still have a tail, you'll still have fur. It just won't be this really, really complicated piece of geometry. And then when you press play, you no longer get the warning message about the material being reused. In order to make this easier to see, I'm going to click on this Maximize on Play button. And when it starts up this time, it'll take up the full screen. So how does this work? Well, if you hold down the right mouse button and you move the mouse around, you can control the camera. And then if you use WASD while also holding down the right mouse button, you can move around. And the mouse wheel will change the speed. You can go faster, slower, and that's how you maneuver. Now in this video, I'm only going to be editing the length. And this slider here controls whether I want it to be long or whether I want it to be short. Other options that you can do, I won't do it in this video though, is you can change the density. You can make the fur chunkier looking, or you can make it fine. I'm going to hit undo there. And you can also adjust the combing and have whether the fur goes in a particular direction. But again, I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm only going to be dealing with the length. These controls over here on the left, those control the shape of the brush. So you can make it large. You can make it really small. You can also control the strength. Now, if I have it at 100, it's going to go all the way to the target. The target is zero length. One pass will paint all the way to zero. But if I put it to, let's say, 50, each time I go over it, it's only going to take it 50% of the way to the target. So this fur is now half height. If I go over it a second time, it's now quarter height, because again, 50% more, and so on and so forth. The fall off controls how sharp the drop off. As you can see here, it's really sharp. It just immediately goes all or nothing, whereas this is a more gradual fall off. And the visibility is just how visible it is. You also have these options in the middle. You can change the brush to only increase. So for example, if I change this to really long, and I try to make it short, it'll ignore me because it's saying no, only increase. Or you could choose only decrease, it'll only make the fur shorter. So if I put it in the middle, you'll see this stuff will get shorter, but this stuff here won't get longer. 
There's also the ability to copy from another map, but that's a more advanced topic which I'll talk about in another video. Uh, the mirror turns on and off this mirror. Spherical controls whether or not the cursor is 3D. So this is a three-dimensional sphere because it's jumping from one side of the mouth to the other. And if I turn it off, it now follows the surface and it doesn't jump across three-dimensional gaps. And show data gives you a false color image of what you've done. So it's showing this is the different height levels. And that'll be useful later. I'll show you where I use it. Now you might be tempted to put the strength all the way to the maximum. But then, as you can see, it's going to be really hard to get this to gradually fall off. I'd have to go like that, and then that, and make it smaller. And this is a really slow way to do it. A much easier way to do this is to use a large brush that's very weak, so 20%, let's say. And then, each time I go over it, it'll only remove a little bit. And I keep doing that. Each click is only going to remove whatever the strength is, so only 20%. And because of the gradual fall off, you can't really see sharp drops. And you've got this nice gradual, gradual fall off. And that looks pretty good. And I can check my work by clicking the show data. And the face looks okay, but you can see here where I messed up. Now I can fix that really easy by using the middle mouse button to click anywhere and it will take a sample. So the height of the fur right here is 184, so click the middle mouse button and now, crank the strength up, I will just fix that mistake that I made. And looks pretty good. Now I'm going to keep grooming slowly. Get rid of some of the fur off the ears. Uh, everything else, tail looks okay. Let's get some of the fur off the paw pads here, off of the feet. Now, what about these beans? You want to get the fur off those completely, so I'm going to use a smaller brush, about the same size. I'm going to turn the fall off so it's a nice sharp drop. And increase the strength quite a lot. And just go very carefully. Maybe a slightly smaller brush. There we go. And got some nice clean beans. I'll do the hands. Let's start by doing a larger brush, weaker. Just uh, that's probably too much. I'm going to hit undo. Even weaker. There we go. Just want to get the thin bit, thin them out a little bit. It's not quite so hairy palmed. And then get the beans. Okay, feet are done, hands are done. Let's take care of the nose properly here. Make a, I don't want it too strong, because I might make a mistake. Let's start trimming this. Okay, now I'm gonna do something about these eyes. Same sort of idea. So it's looking good so far, but if we zoom inside the mouth, what we can see is Ugh, everything inside is covered in fur as well. Now, easiest way to fix this 
is make sure I've saved and then hit stop. And now, if I go to the skinned mesh renderer and I open up blend shapes, I'm going to make him say, ah, ah. And now I can see, I can zoom up here, inside the mouth much easier. Let's see if I make him say, oh, as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. And now that I've set the blend shapes like that, I can go back into the grooming utility and it'll be a lot easier to get that fur that is inside the mouth. Now here's where the spherical brush can be really useful. I'm gonna turn off the spherical and now it'll only affect the surface that it's touching. It won't go through and touch the skin that's outside because that's a separate surface. So I'm gonna do this. And you do have to be careful here because every so often you might accidentally go outside, so make sure you don't. And carefully. And I think that does everything if we zoom out. Fur is still on the cheeks, still on the nose. All right, looks good. So I'm going to hit save and stop. And now we have a basic, simple grooming of the Rex. So I'm going to stop here for this video, since I wanted to focus first on how to get a working fur map. Uh, that'll allow you to try out the fur in game and get a sense of how it looks on you and what you might like to change. Uh, in the next video, I'll be covering more advanced features like the combing and masking and also how to copy from one grooming texture to another. So I'll see you next time. Bye!